All right. It's been a hot second since we've played this. So I want to go through what this deck is doing for people who maybe haven't seen it before. In this instance, the party bus refers to lumbering battlement here, which says when this enters the battlefield, exile any number of non-token creatures you control until this leaves the battlefield and gets bigger for each one under it. So this deck has a four card infinite combo in it. <clears throat> party bus plus two more buses or two hostage takers, or one extra bus and one extra hostage taker creates an infinite loop that you can break at any time to trigger enter the battlefield effects over and over again. So with an unlimited number of enter the battlefield effects, with these three cards plus another enter the battlefield effect, we can have Agent of Treachery grab every permanent they control. We can have Elite Guard Mage draw us as many cards as we want and draw gain us three life in increments. We can make them discard their hand and gain three life as much as we want. We can have Fibble Fip draw a bunch of cards. Deputy of Detention is notably not a combo when we're comboing. <clears throat> However, it's just a good card in the format, so we're playing it. One thing I'm excited to give a little bit of a try to today in this deck is Drawn from Dreams. This card's really impressed me in a lot of the other kind of wacky three and four card combo decks that we've played because it just sees so many cards. So I'm excited to play some games with this one in here. Let's head on into some matches and see how this goes. Hey, Mikers, thanks for having me here. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Can we kill them while we loop without the vampire? We can't, but we can, while we can't straight up kill them, we can um, take every permanent they control with the, with the agent of treachery, which is like effectively killing them. <clears throat> they don't, if they don't have any cards left, they might as well be dead. All right, sweet. When they played, uh... who hurt you, opponent? What was their name? You can you can tell me. We're all friends here. Tell me, tell me who hurt you. I'll find them. I'll pay them back. <clears throat> Uh, we cast Thought Erasure and our opponent conceded there for people for people who missed it. All right, I guess. I mean, to be fair, if they're expecting us to be a... If they're expecting us to be... What's it called? If they're expecting us to be an Esper control deck, their hand was pretty bad in the Esper mirror. Yeah, yeah, I think I think they might have done that assuming they were playing an Esper mirror. What's actually kind of funny here too is it looks like it looks like we're an Esper control deck with this hand, right? So I'm choosing the discovery here rather than thought erasure because um, my opponent shocked in that land there representing a counter spell. And I'd rather just not play this erasure into their open mana counter spell here. <clears throat> Uh, 
Now, however, that I have infinite erasures, let's jam. <clears throat> Maybe I'm supposed to take Fibbles there, actually. Fibble Thip would make any party bus I find better, because we could tuck Fibble under the bus. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to leave Fibbles there. I have another veto. Ha! <laughs> um. Go. No, we, we're on zero walkers in this build. We've played three mana Tefri in the past, but this build currently has zero walkers in it. <clears throat> All right, well that... That was a match of magic. This deck should make it easy to finally complete those play white and black spells best I have though. This deck is busted. Get him. Get him. <clears throat> Man, things. Things get weird near rotation. I like occasionally check and like keep an eye on who else is streaming magic when I'm on. Noxious is currently streaming magic online. What a, what a weird timeline. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh he's doing commander uh what's it called uh moto does multiplayer commander right if i if i recall correctly <clears throat> sweet there's a white source Actually, come come to think of it, is Magic Arena the first digital magic to not do multiplayer? Because Magic Magic Duels did multiplayer too, right? I'm going to play this one out to try and hit my white source for next turn. Well, I mean, that's kind of what I asked for. <clears throat> I think I'm taking deputy here. I'm definitely taking the untapped white source. <clears throat> Chandelar didn't either. 
Oh, I did not shoot the sheriff, but this deputy shot the land war elves. Sorry, that was really bad and I apologize. Unsubbed. <clears throat> there was, there was an attempt. I want free for all in arena fight me. So I would almost guarantee that the reason we don't have multiplayer in arena is not because they don't want to, but because it would require a fundamental redesigning of how the entire back end of the game works from the gameplay standpoint. And I think the amount of effort it would take for them to implement that in proportion to the amount of profit it would generate extra is probably not worthwhile. <clears throat> yeah, I agree, Jason. Same. Wow, they sent the deputy to prison for... For shooting the land war elves, that's brutal. So, I'm gonna play this bell. I think it's it's important to play the bell haunt first here before we thought erasure, because we want our opponent to discard, not knowing that they're about to lose their other best card. And then we're two-thirds of the way to infinite from here. <clears throat> oh, God. Yeah, I can't even imagine the client lag with a four, four or five-player big board state. Oh. Oh, you made that? What if, what if I made that? Oh, yeah. Could you imagine Arena trying to run on a cell phone? Like, completely ignore the board state issues for a moment and think about performance. I can't even imagine coming it for that reason. Drawn, drawn from Dreams is just a good card. It's just, it's just a good card. Well, that's infinite. Deputy cannot exile our own thing. If Deputy could exile our own thing, it would be a combo piece, which is unfortunate. I would, I would love it if that was a combo piece in this deck. Hmm. I actually probably don't want Age in this matchup. It's probably kind of clunky. Deputy seems pretty good. Um, actually, D Spark's probably a little medium. Noxious Grass seems excellent. You just trim a Discovery as filler. Disfigure seems good against there. Actually, is Disfigure better or is Cast Down better? Cast Down kills their deputies. Killing their deputies seems relevant. So maybe maybe Cast Down's better than which figure? Maybe I just want both on the draw. Let's just do both on the draw. Yeah, cast down kills Nissa lands as well. Hmm. 
Is the wind kind just beating them in the face? Uh, yeah, we can also just like gain a bunch of life too. Cause you can, you can loop with bell haunt and gain a bunch of life. Yeah, lands, lands are colorless. Unless, unless otherwise stated like Dryad Arbor, lands are colorless. They make colors of mana, but they're colorless. So unfortunately can't Thought Erasure here on two. Aww, that's cute, Jason. You still have optimism. Your optimism's adorable. Some of us, some of us have been here for a decade and we don't, we don't contain optimism any longer. Um, they're pretty far off of this manipulation, right? They also don't have any white for this. If I just like take their leafkin, I'm gonna take their leafkin. I'm two. I'm two thirds of the weight of the combo here. Discarded another non-blue, non-white source. Yep, there's the Roketcher mana. Hey, look, there's the last combo piece. So we'll play this Hostage Taker. I assume this will get tucked into their deck, but that's fine, I just want it off the board. Oh no. The fact that they didn't tuck it means that we're probably going to get Deputy Prison Realm, sure. So I actually wouldn't mind drawing a land next turn, so that way I can double Deputy. We're hoping they don't have a, If they have a mana creature here, we might be in trouble. Or like another creature they can cast. I wonder if they have a Veil of Summer here. He's pausing like they might have a response. Huh? Do I want to disfigure something in response? I think so. The current standard deck, I enjoy playing the most. Maybe I'm supposed to do that in the reverse order. No, that's not true, because I wouldn't be able to play the Deputy anyways, right? Yarok, Yarok Field's my current favorite deck, because the deck I played in the, in the MCQ over the weekend. Deck's a lot of fun. So they can... Kind of surprised to see them not do this, honestly. They hit Mass Manipulation Mana here, too. So I think we're probably dead at this point. Yeah, super dead. Needed that to break a little bit better for us there. So they have Oketra and they have Tristani in addition to Nissa. Does that mean I want D-Spark? I'm going to put in at least one. The Tristani Mass Manipulation deck. Yep. Yep. Hmm. Maybe stroke is fine. Yeah, stroke tags manipulation too. Yeah, I think that's probably a good suggestion.
If I could reboard, I would put some strokes in. Hydra's was disappointing. It just gets outclassed by the, all the other ramp decks that exist in the format. Which is unfortunate, but kind of expected. Uh, we don't know the answer to that question, Karsten. It's a wait and see type thing. They didn't have a land war elf. Hashtag never lucky. I'm bottom of the fifth land for now. Our deck's got a lot of lands in it. All right. The opponent has a veil of summer. Yeah, I really, I really hope that's the case too, Jason. I think that's pretty likely though, because they already have those sets and they want to make money off of it. I bet, I bet Historic's medium, medium reception to start is because, is because they don't want to pull attention from standard at rotation. If they cast Nissa, I'm going to disfigure this and then cast down the land. Sure. Eight, maybe eight. Maybe they'll get bored of waiting and cycle it since I cast this Bell Hunt. All their extra events are best of one gin. That's part of the reason why I don't bother with them. I'm just not a big fan of the best of one formats. Hmm. Well, Oketra's legendary. Yeah, I think I think the play is disfigure this. They have a they have a veil of summer chat. I don't actually think the unstable lands are really that sweet. I, in my opinion, they look much worse than the borderless lands, which I already have. I was kind of hoping for a land there so I could Thought Erasure plus Hostage Shaker and get one of my combo pieces on the table. I think we're dead here.
Yeah, it's very possible, Chris. That I should have just bit the bullet and played into it. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana here, so they can make eight two twos. So the twenty-five months judgeinator, I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. I get two shots, another deputy, if they make a bunch of two twos. My opponent just Othakaya in my face turn. They wanted to set the tone for the match. They wanted to wanted to let you know what it was all about. Oh, they have eleven mana. I missed counted one. I think I missed the Paradise Druid. All right, it's a redraw. Yeah, Vega, we've played Blood for Bones plenty of time. As always, you can find past deck lists and videos on the website. Plenty, uh, plenty of goodies up there. Click standard decks. Look at that. We got three mastery tree balls. Is that enough for uh, an Omnath? It's enough for an Omnath, chat. That's, that's exciting. All right, we have all the meaningful things out of the mastery tree. I guess, I guess this is a kind of a relevant card with this new combo deck, huh? There's a, there's a Kesis up here, Kethis. Hey, hey, Alatron, thank you for the four months support. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thanks for the seven months. Right now, the money I used to pay to play Magic, I just give to Jeff. This works out well for me. But man, this standard really makes me want to buy into Field and Aristocrats. Yeah, they've got they're they're both they're good decks. They're they're proactive decks with lots of lines. All right, what are you doing, team or opponent? Elementals. So I was on the draw, right? So that means they're gonna get to Tamio before I get to Bell Haunt. So I'm gonna take the Tamio because I want Bell Haunt to take a card out of their hand. Yeah, Strowski Stra uh, at top 16 as well, right? So it was two of the top 16 lists. Yeah, I think hoping they stumble is not a good plan, though. I think that's a plan that's likely to make us sad. 
They did end up stumbling, though. Hey, Krigafer. Thank you for the 12 months of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Let's dig for a thought, are we sure? Yeah, a lot of a lot of good feedback. The event was very successful from a content perspective. Unfortunate to miss there. I think it's think it's right to give we had what four shots of the thought ratio there to take to Nissa. Gonna scry two looks with discovery plus a draw from it. So 19 months DMS, I appreciate that. Welcome back. We do, we do at least have a 3-4 here, which keeps the 3-3s three at bay. They don't have a lightning strike. The deputy of detention holds the Nissa for a little bit. Man, that's a lot of lands in a row. It's like the first eight weeks without fields or aristocrats. Yep. Oh, God. I agree, Percy. I think there's a lot of people who are, like, rightfully spent on this standard format just because, like, it's been a, we, we've been playing with some of these cards for a long time. But I actually think this standard format is going to make an excellent space for historic. I think the there are there are a lot of pretty unique play patterns in this format, even if mid range isn't super successful. Bobby, happy Monday, Bob. Welcome to our newest members of Hoglandia. Thanks for keeping me around. All right, so we're definitely taking Agent. Do I take Agent and Lumbering? I could take Agent plus Deputy and Deputy the Chandra. Jeff said something nice about Historic Confirmed Shell. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the plan. Drawn from Dreams is so good. There's no aristocrats here, title. 10 out of 10. I've got some ladder ranks I want to make up too, so that'll be a good one. Good one to do. Brutal. Think we're dead from here. Yeah, I agree, Percy. Hopefully. Hopefully we can like hit double digits and like sit out, run out the rest of the month. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. Glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. Yikes, yikes. Well, drawn from dreams has been neat at seeing a lot of cards. I, I definitely feel like we're seeing the reason why this deck got demoted to meme on the website. Unfortunately. The, uh, the other decks that are just like going big in this format, just like go bigger than what this deck is able to do. The issue with this door currently is that it could be... All right, Chris. I'm going to give you a chance to make a reasonable argument. Please explain to me why you think 
historic is going to be anything other than the current standard format we have right now. Because this current standard format isn't four color good stuff. So I can't see a reason why historic would be would be anything other than just this current format. Can you can you explain? This is fine. So, a feature or bug of this current format, Chris, depending on how you look at it, is that if you look at how this format works and what's good and bad in it, mid-range decks like what you're describing are shocking or astonishingly bad in this current format. They're bad because, for the same reason, Jund is bad against Red Green Valakut decks. Someone asked about Disfigure in this matchup. Maybe this is worse than Cast Down. I don't know. Cast Down hits the Nissa lands, which is relevant. Even even with better fixing, like not being able to play your colors isn't what's holding back isn't what's holding back mid-range decks in this format. Field Field of the Dead going infinitely over the top of anything a mid-range deck is capable of doing, and Nexus of Fate going infinitely over the top of anything a mid-range deck is capable of doing. That's what's holding those decks back in this format. There's Field of the Dead, there's Nexus, there's Command the Dreadhorde, there's Mass Manipulation. All of these cards cause traditional mid-range decks to really struggle to gain traction. No, and they pick God, they pick such a god awful name. Why did they name this format historic? So for those for those who are uninformed, um, historic is the name of the format that's coming in the fall. So we're getting a new non-rotating format come fall, and it's gonna be called historic for some god awful reason. Yeah, and it's not like it's a keyword from a decade ago, right? And then and then to even get past that, a format called historic now is now has less cards in it than a format called modern. Like how how does that make sense? Can you can anybody please tell me? The fact that a card type historic is just ridiculous to me. They won't name a format enchantment or aura. Yeah. Well, historic's like a subtype, right? Enchantment, it's comparable to aura, I suppose. Just give me type one and type two back. Thank you for the nine months of support, Aaron. I appreciate that. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. It's called Historic because it's part of a historically long list of bad naming conventions. Looking at you, Mythic Everything. Okay. To, to be a Watsy shill here for the moment and give credit where credit is due, they did a good job renaming and rebranding their events for next year. 
I agree that Mythic Everything this year was awkward, but I think I think they did a really good job distinguishing between their two things for next year. Just to, just to like be on the record and, and to tell them when they did to to pat the dog on the head and let them know they done good. I think they I think they did a good job renaming. There, that's my audition for a discretionary invite. Did I pass? Did I pass? All right. Rats. They didn't buy it. Until you asked if you passed. <laughs> All right, dear opponent, please don't veil us over me. Oh no. Oh no. So now, one thing to note here is if I draw an untapped land next turn, I get to Lumbering Battlement my agent and then Hostage Taker my Lumbering Battlement to use the agent again. He said as his opponent played the card to Wrath his board. Why not go to the face while they're at seven? Because I wasn't paying attention and I was tilted. And much like we've been comparing this format to modern, this format is very similar to modern in that uh, some of these some of these brews are not the decks that are worse than the good decks are they're a lot worse. Yeah, yeah. The party bus is gonna stay in the meme section, but I don't I don't know that this is one I really want to play again. This format feel like feel like this is uh, the part the party bus has crashed and burned yet. No, it's not, a, it's not a good seed. All right. All right. Let's 